chicos! ¡Hola, chicos! Bienvenidos a una nueva edición de Ruta 226. ¡Somos el Ministerio Infantil! ¡Ruta! Hi guys, I'm so happy you're here today. Today we're going to be talking about the light of the world. God said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. What does that mean? That sounds so beautiful, right? Today we're going to be discussing the light and the darkness. So right now I want you to think about how you feel when you're in a room full of light and in a room full of darkness. And I don't know if you've ever paid attention, but when you're outside, you are never in complete darkness. During the day, we have the sun that lights up the sky, and at night, we have the moon. So we are never in darkness, even when we're outside. But how do you feel when you're in a, in a room that it's dark? What does darkness make you feel? I know darkness makes me feel lonely, scared. Um, I don't like the darkness at all. It also makes me feel like it's time to go to bed, you know? But what about the light? The light makes me feel happy. It makes me feel safe. It makes me feel secure. It makes me feel like we can go outside and play, you know, when you have the sunny days. Well, God wants us to know that Jesus is the light of the world, that if we follow him and follow his message and what the Bible has said to do, that we will always walk in the light. We will never be alone, but also God wants us to be the light of the world. How can you be the light of the world? Let's think about it. I think you can be the light of the world by telling others about God. You can be that light for them to guide them so that they are never lonely. Another way that you can compare the light of the world to your life can be Christmas lights, right? Or, you know, you never turn the lights off during the Christmas time. You, you buy lights so you can have them on. So you never in darkness. So that's why we need to follow God and we need to know that he is the light. And as long as we follow him, we'll never feel lonely. We'll never feel scared because he lights up the path of our lives. I'm so happy you were able to make it to this lesson, guys. And I hope you have a Merry Christmas. Hey, guys. I hope you enjoyed Rocio's lesson. It was about light and dark, right? And, well, how Jesus is our light, the light of the world. Today, well, let me start this. Usually, I do a craft, or I show you guys how to do a craft, but today, I wanted to show you guys a game you can play at home, all right? Either with your parents or with your siblings, right? But first, we need to do some prep work. So first thing you need, a uh, pen, pencil, marker, anything like that, crayon even, and a piece of paper. So, uh, pause the video and go get that, okay? All right, you're back. Cool. First thing we're going to do is that we're going to draw on the paper Jesus. Just big words, Jesus, all right? Make sure that the letters all fit on the paper, okay? So we're just going to write Jesus right on the paper, all big, so we can see it pretty easily. And just like so. Now, I don't have the best handwriting in the world. I know that. But you guys get the point. Kind of like this. Just better. <laughs> okay? You guys can do it. So, um, point is, get a paper that says Jesus on it. Just one big Jesus. All right? And now, we can start a game. So, uh, I don't know if you guys ever heard of this game called Boogeyman. But it's kind of like this. So, uh, also, you guys are going to need your parents for this. Padres, los niños van a estar... Necesitar ayuda con esta actividad. I'll explain it in English, then I'll explain it in Spanish. 
Le voy a explicar en inglés y eso se lo explico en español. Uh, first, your parents are going to grab the paper and they're going to hide it somewhere in the room. You can't see it. You have to close your eyes and not see it, okay? They're going to hide it somewhere. Now, your job is to find this piece of paper as fast as possible. And in order to find the piece of paper, you're going to use a flashlight. But why do you need a flashlight? Well, the room is going to be dark, okay? We need the room to be dark so you can turn on a flashlight with either your parent's phone or a flashlight you have, and you're going to look around the room, and you're going to flash it on the piece of paper and say, I found Jesus, the light of the world, okay? okay. Padres, la actividad consiste que hay un papel y ustedes van a apagar las luces y escondérselo de sus niños. Después, con una linterna o teléfono, van a darle lo que sea para poder encontrar. El punto es para que los niños encuentren el, pa el papel lo más rápido posible. Y cuando lo encuentren, van a decir, encontré a Jesús, la luz del mundo. All right, you guys got it? So I'm going to show you guys an example, okay? So I'm going to have one of the other people here to hide this, okay? We'll be right back once they're done hiding it. All right, is it done? Yeah? All right. Okay, so I closed my eyes. They didn't tell me where. They said they hid it somewhere on this stage. So I'm going to take my phone, turn the flashlight on. Or I can't turn the flashlight on right now because it's not too dark. But I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay? So ready, set, go. They have a timer for me, so they tell me how fast I'm going. All right, so I'm going to look around the room. Hmm. Maybe it's over here. No. What if it's under the couch? Uh, nope. Not under the couch. Hmm. Where could it be? Where could it be? Maybe in this sleeping bag. Nope. Hmm. What is that? It's found Jesus. I found Jesus. The light of the world. See? So that's how the game works, okay? Now. If you have a brother or sister, you guys can race to see who finds the piece of paper first. Or you can even race with your parents to see how fast you guys can do it, okay? Time yourselves and see how fast you guys can find this piece of paper. But overall, remember that Jesus is the one light of the world. All right, bye, guys. I hope you enjoy your Advent. Make sure you're filling out those Advent calendars. All right, see you guys.